Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my Football Manager 2013 series. This episode we take on Arsenal. Uh, this is the third Premiership game for us of the season. Uh, we play Arsenal at Stamford Bridge. Um, we've also got the Champions League group stage draw. So we're going to uh, get on with this now. Obviously we'll do all the first teams. So, right, so we're Group H. Out of all the C2 teams, uh, I wouldn't mind Sporting. I think Sporting would probably be... Sporting or Atletico Madrid would be uh, the best bets. Atletico Madrid's been drew. Sporting... Ah, so we've got AC Milan. That's fair enough. Um, C3. Olympiacos or Anderlecht. Oh, right, okay then. Not getting Anderlecht. But we got Olympiacos, okay. And seed four, obviously we can't have Newcastle because they are an English team. Um, Opel, Partizan or Luzeren, I'll be happy with. Who do we get? Ah, so in we'll go through all the groups. Uh, group A, Real Madrid, Marseille, Juventus and Partizan. Group B, Atletico Madrid. PSG, the current defending champions, um, Anderlecht and Fenerbahce. Group C, Manchester United, Zenit, Dortmund and Luzern. Uh, group D, Porto, Man City, Feyenoord and Werder Bremen. That's going to be a tough group. Uh, group F, Barcelona, Sporting, Ajax and Celtic. Group G, Bayern Munich, Valencia, Newcastle and Galatasaray. And Group H, Chelsea, AC Milan, Olympiacos and... Apoel. Hmm. Never heard of them before, but hey ho. Um, normally I don't... Well, I'm not sure if you guys want to see this in the videos. If you want to see me going through just all the, the random messages. Or if you just want to see the start of the match, end of the match. So uh, please let me know. and uh, So I can try and uh, do the videos the best I possibly can for you guys. But we'll do some of the messages... No, 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 no. Lampard's been left out of the England team. Damn it. Torres has been left out of the Spain team. All the uh, scouting updates. Hmm, yeah. I won't add him back on to the list. Won't do him either. He's a player that I think is very good, so I'll put him back onto the shortlist. Benzina. Nah. I ain't going to uh, put him back onto the shortlist. No chance. Right. Today's match against Arsenal. Uh, Ramirez obviously won't be playing for us because he is currently injured still. Uh, for Arsenal... Thomas Vermillion won't be playing because he's injured. I think he's one of Arsenal's best, if not the best defender Arsenal have. So that's alright for us. I've already sorted out my team, don't worry, that's already been done. Um, <coughs> Arsenal going with a 4-2-3-1 formation, the same as us. Uh, Griezmann, one of Arsenal's new signings this season. Arsenal currently 6th. Two games, one win, one loss. Morale's pretty good. Mikel Arteta, surprised they're playing him with a 78% condition rating when you got like Aaron Ramsey on the bench you can play instead, but let's uh Right, no response from the players. Andre Ayu and Oscar look to gain confidence. Ashley Cole looks happy. Alright, okay. Well, let's do this. Hopefully, we can get a win. Keep a good, uh, well, keep try and keep a hundred percent league record. Really, try and keep that as long as we possibly can. Um, right now, Loriente still hasn't made a, a Premiership debut for us yet, but Oscar's accepted it. Oscar, still Oscar. Oh, I'm not um, Loriente still hasn't made a Premiership debut for us yet, but he will get his opportunity. Possibly next match. Not going to guarantee it, but possibly next match. And uh, it's hard having two world-class strikers, so you don't really know who to play. But um, if 
there's also the option of changing formation. Obviously, you know, I'm not keen on changing formation right now because it's a formation that we're doing really well in. But there's also the option of changing formation or playing them individually. This A good pass to Falcao. Fantastic. Very nice. I'm looking forward to seeing this highlight. Let's have a look at this. A you run from the cent from halfway. Go past the Falco. Completely unmarked. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, Wiltshire gets a lecture off the referee. Uh, Ash Cole looking motivated right now. A lot of the players kind of 7.0, averaging 7.0 right now. So it's not bad considering we're halfway through the first half. Uh, Andre Ayew's been booked for, for a bad tackle. Lampard's been booked for unsportsmanlike like conduct. Damn. Uh, I think, yeah, they've substituted Arteta off and brought Aaron Ramsey on. Griezmann to Ramsey. As Bakuta intercepts, good interception. Matt to the Falcao, back to Lampard. Lampard has a shot, keep it safe. In terms of uh, Arsenal's starting lineup, I'm surprised that they haven't really kind of gone and tried to sign any you know, the big world class names, if you know what I mean. But this is Oscar, oh, really again. Uh, players, I'm surprised they didn't go into Hamasic, I'm surprised they didn't go into Neymar. Uh, I'm surprised that they haven't really kind of done any transfer activity really. This is Bakura crosses it in. Oh, Marin with a goal. Oh, boost. Let's have a look at this. Oscar passes it out to Azbukuta. Right foot cross. Marin completely unmarked and a volley. Lovely. We've got uh, Hazard on the bench. The reason why Hazard isn't playing, well, isn't starting today, is simply because he didn't have a good game last match. And, well, <laughs> playing Marin ahead of Hazard has paid off so far, so. Uh, match stats. Yeah, we're kind of keeping Arsenal pretty contained right now. They've had two more, well, four more percent, uh, percent possession than we have right now. Uh, player ratings. Yeah, we're going to have to bring um, Marco Marin off. He's on 70% uh, condition rating right now. Uh, Arteta, 62%. Crap, no wonder they brought him off. Right. Players that look delighted. Check, Terry, Cole, Lampard and Mata. Can we get a few more smiley faces? Marin looks happy, but he's coming off anyway. Right. Okay. Just substitute Marin off. Get Hazard on. And we'll get Mikel on for Andre Ayu. I don't want to have uh, someone get sent off and obviously with AU and Lampard being in the centre of midfield there's more ch likelihood of one of them getting sent off than there is uh, a winger getting sent off. Falcao's been yellow carded. Wiltshire has been yellow carded. Referee's throwing yellow cards out for free in this match. Next highlight. It's a goal kick. Falcao heads it on to Hazard. Keeps it in, crossing by Hazard. Oh. Damn. Sanger clears it. Cahill picks it up to Mikel Lampard. Oh. Always cuts cuts the rest of the highlight when you think something good's gonna happen. Andre Santos was throwing to Chamberlain. He's quick. Lampard back to check. That's Pakuta. Come on, Oscar, do something. Mikel, good pass to Oscar, Falcao. Oh, he should have scored. Right, we'll get Falcao off and get Loriente on. Give Loriente 10 minutes, see if he can do something. It's kind of hard when, like, because Falcao obviously 
I do rate Falcao very highly. I'll say Chamberlain, shot saved. Second shot missed. I rate Falcao very highly and uh, I rate Loriente very highly. So obviously I'm trying to find the right balance of giving them equal, not necessarily the exact same amount of games, but you know, a fair opportunity. I think we'll probably go with the... Uh, how the fuck did he miss that? What? I swear he was going to score that then. <laughs> um, um, but I'll probably change formation, maybe, or just give Lorente a chance up by himself. Have Matt Hazard and Oscar kind of supporting him. Andre Santos, Mertesacker, Ramsey talks of Chamberlain. He's going to run with it. Terry intercepts. Good, good interception by Terry. Oh, Loriente. Go on, Loriente. Oh. Mm. Well, in the 10 minutes that Loriente's been on, he's had one sitter. And what I mean by sitter, I mean is like, it's one of them opportunities where all you have to do is just pass the ball into the back of the net. Uh, but he missed that, which a bit disappointing. I think we've got this one, they're going to have a free kick, yep, full time. We won! Uh, match stats, let's have a look at this. Uh, 17 shots, 6 on target. We had 7 clear cut chances, Arsenal had 1. We had 48% possession uh, to Arsenal's 52%. Uh, pass completion 73% to their 71%. Uh, tackles won 76% to their 63% and headers won 56% to their 59 uh, we had three yellow cards they had two the average rating for a player on their team was 6.69 and the average rating for a player on our team was 7.31 so yeah pleased with the performance um, best player for them today Mertesacker 7.7 .7. uh, Man of the match Ashley Cole 8.1 uh, Asbukuta had a very good game 8.0 rating Marin and Falcao got us a goal each I'll go passionate Players that look delighted Oh crikey Oscar Played kind of bad oh, He still looks delighted Hmm I might have a word with Oscar after this match and uh, yeah just kind of term that last performance was uh, wasn't up to standard last game assertive hmm that meeting didn't go down too fantastic did it Right, post-match press conference, yep. We've been drew against Reading in the Capital One Cup. Who's this guy, am I? Oh yeah, <laughs> I am linked with him, not going to say anything though. Right, uh, fixtures. Our next match is against West Brom. We have a look in the league. Where's West Brom? West Brom are currently fourth in the league right now, so they're not doing too bad, but obviously it's still very early on in the season. So, well, last season, Aston Villa were doing very well to begin with, and then their form somewhere slipped along the season, and they ended up being like, I think, what was it, eight positions lower than what they were in the first half of the season. Uh, a couple of results. Aston Villa 3-0 win against Fulham. Blackpool 2-0 win against Cardiff and Hazard scored again. He's doing very well right now already. Uh, Newcastle drew 0-0 West Brom. QPR 3-1 win against Everton. West Ham drew 0-0 with Stoke. And Manchester United pounded Norwich 6-1. Whoa. Okay. And the league table currently sits at Liverpool in 4th place on, well, 2 games played with 6 points. Man City in 3rd place, 2 games played, 6 points. 
West Brom in second place, three games played, seven points. And we are first place with three games played and nine points. So we've, uh, I think, oh no, we've got the second best, um, in t second best in terms of conceding goals. Less amount of goals, that is. So, um, yeah, not too bad. Things are going quite well so far, but our next match is against West Brom. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like and comment and let me know. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys for the game against West Brom.